How's it going guys and welcome back to Off The Grid. So, today we are going to be doing something, well, quite interesting actually. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. Something very different. And also something that we're probably going to be doing a lot of um, in the coming months. But um, yeah, we're basically going to be building a little road. And possibly a little platform as well for us to put either some sort of a little outdoor... Um, garden or maybe even just a greenhouse or something like that not a hundred percent sure yet but um yeah we'll see exactly what we're gonna do there i'm thinking sort of a greenhouse or maybe just some sort of a little garden area uh, that we can cover up in the winter if needs be but um my initial plan was to run a road just down here and just fill up the the size a little bit but and then i thought it'll probably be easier to just build a road straight down here so I think that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to have to get some filler material in here. And um, yeah, we'll link that up. So the idea is basically if we come into the bunker here um, with a forage wagon and we drop off grass there that we can sort of turn around and um, head out that direction or even head in from that direction if needs be. So we're going to have to fill in quite a fair bit over here and level it out so that we have enough space to turn around, especially when we start getting bigger equipment and also here where initially the construction happened we sort of did a bit of um, digging and didn't level anything out so we're gonna try and maybe even level this out and push it through into here and then fill this lower area out um, maybe not the whole thing but just a little bit here to build a little greenhouse or like say something um, over there so that is the plan at least and we'll see how it goes we only have the Massey um, to do this with uh, which is slow going, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be quite fun anyway. But yeah, let's get everything fired up and we'll jump into this. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to be digging out from. I was thinking maybe just somewhere here in this hillside. Uh, maybe we'll just come in and... Hmm. Yeah, maybe just dig out of here somewhere. Not 100% sure. Right. Anyway, I'm going to get everything going and figure out exactly where we're going to be digging out of. And we're obviously going to take some soil out of here as well, but um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we should dig down here. Hmm, we could dig into this. Very rocky though, that's going to get difficult very quickly. Anyway, I'm going to figure this out and um, we'll come back. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so the Massey has been running for a little bit, should be warm, and I thought we'll probably just dig out of that sort of corner there. See if we can um, maybe dig through there a little bit, open up a bit more of that space. But anyway, let's, um, let's hop in and see how this goes. We'll try and um, even, even this area out a little bit as much as we can. So this will be easy enough quick enough and um, we'll just drop into there lovely it'll slow down a little bit if we need to um, start actually carting dirt around um, over a bit of a distance but anyway it'll be fine I don't want to go too far down here because we might actually not be able to reverse back don't want to do that. Don't want to get the tractor stuck in that hole there. Be a bit of a pain to get out. Okay, let's maybe run up here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can just get through this piece. Make life a little bit easier, but yeah, the, the Massey definitely doesn't like the weight of hanging down that hill. And with a bucket full of well dirt here so 
Yeah, definitely not happy, but doing the job. Doing the job quite well, I might add. There we go. Making a bit of progress. I think it's going to work out well. Because we can dig out quite a fair bit of that. Flatten it out. Just make it easier to sort of turn around in there and... Yeah, get um, get some work done around here when we start getting into into the grass and that sort of a thing, which I'm looking forward to, but also yeah, I don't know when that'll happen because we're gonna need definitely need a bigger tractor, so we'll have to look out for that. And, yeah, the equipment in general is just quite expensive. Like, even forage wagons and stuff like that. But then we'll also have to have a tractor that would be capable of running the wagon. This one definitely won't be. And, um, yeah, we'll have to get a windrower. So, yeah, at the bare minimum, a tractor, a wagon, like a collection wagon, and um, some sort of a, a rower. Yeah, it'll get um, it'll get fairly expensive fairly quickly. We do have the little baler, so we can make some grass bales if we just want to sell that. But um, I don't think it'll be extremely profitable. And also, we'll still need a, um, a rower. And I don't think it'll be easy to find a rower that'll work on this tractor. It's very small and very, very low in power. Okay, I think we'll, we'll leave that little bit and we'll start focusing here a bit more. Yeah, maybe we can take a bit more out here, I think. Well, this is actually not taking too long. Getting there. See if we can take a bit more out of here. Push it through to this side. Oh, went a little bit too far there. Okay. stuck. Nearly tipped the tractor over there. I think we may be a little bit stuck. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is not good. This is not good at all. There we go. Come on. Oh, we don't want to tip this over. Okay, I think I'm going to have to um, pull this out. I think what's happening is the, the barrel is catching at the back here, and now we're digging in with this tire. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to get this pulled out, and we'll have to get this area leveled out a little bit, and then we'll continue digging around this area. Maybe just level it out a little bit. But, um, yeah, making pretty good progress already, I think. And then... When we're done with that and we've got enough sort of space into here, we can probably dig out a little bit in here just to fill in here as well. Then um, we'll head over there, grab some dirt from there, and start filling in this little road area down here. Yeah, that's pretty stuck there at the moment. That barrel is a bit of a problem. Um, it's very low to the ground, so it does get um, stuck quite a bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't want to tip that over... over um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Right, we're going to get that pulled out, and then we'll jump into a time lapse, and we'll get the rest of this knocked out. So, yeah, for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Your lips on my lips started like this.
said he wanted out Your eyes shine so bright With one little stare right into mine Right, well, um, this is going to take a little bit longer than what I expected it to. But we're getting there. This is just very, very deep. So it's taking a lot of soil to get this filled up. But you can sort of see the idea starting to form. Uh, we might have to fill out a little bit more here. We haven't even started collecting um, some dirt from there. We've been taking it out of here just because it's easy and close and it kind of makes sense. We've also got a fair bit filled into here. I still want to do probably up to about here, which is going to take a while, but I kind of want to see if I can dig into that hill there and just pull that down into here. But um, yeah, it's it's tough going and the Massey has got stuck a few times, so I had to get it pulled out. But um, yeah, it's doing the job. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Just, uh, yeah, like I say, slow going, really. But not bad at all. It's a fun job. It is fun to do. And like I said earlier, we're going to have to get used to it because we're going to be doing a lot of this. There's a lot of road fixing that needs doing. Um, the road that leads down the, the hill and towards town. A lot of work that needs doing there. Although I do think if we um, if we work on the road there, we'll probably use the truck. And to be fair, if we can't um, take any more dirt out of this hill here, we'll probably use the truck anyway. Then we'll just load onto the truck and then um, offload wherever needs be. But uh, yeah, let's say so far going pretty well. Slow, but well, which is good. Had a few close calls. This thing is a little bit on the top heavy side when you've got the um, the boom out. It is a short boom. Uh, the front loader is quite small on this. So it doesn't have like a, a massive reach which makes it extremely unstable. But every once in a while I do get myself into a bit of a pickle where things get slightly uncomfortable. But yeah, like I said, I think... Um, I think this is just going to be a matter of um, continuing to fill it out and I have also got most of this relatively smoothed out so that is uh, much better than what it was and uh, definitely not as steep so yeah I'm quite happy with that and um, nice and smooth around here I think we'll probably leave it like that because uh, we'll still be able to sort of farm right through here. And we'll have a nice area where you can sort of turn around and take a loop. So this needs a little bit more filling in. Um, but that'll sort of come along with this area. So I want to sort of try and fill it all the way around here. Down to sort of here maybe. And um, yeah, then that road as well. I think this tree we'll probably take down. It's a little bit in the way. Uh, we'll take that down. And um, yeah, as I say, for the road, we'll probably... Yeah, probably work from here. And then sort of shoot straight through down there. 
So, we're getting there. Like I say, it's just a lot of landfill, um, but um, it's getting there. It's not too bad at all. I think it'll just make life a lot easier when we start working on that. Yeah, I think if we can just sort of get straight through to here and just make it nice and wide, nice and flat, and not on an angle, because if you're coming up here with a, a heavy forage wagon, then um, you don't want to be sliding off the side of a hill. That'll be really, really bad, very dangerous. So we don't want to do that. Uh, we'll just um, yeah, make this whole thing as safe as we possibly can. But um, yeah, I'm trying to sort of think where else we could get dirt out of. We might actually pull some out of this hill. As I said earlier, it is very rocky, but we might be able to get some of it out here. And just because it's nice and close by, I don't know how far we're going to be able to go into that hill. And that tree is in the way there. Maybe if we take this tree down and that tree down, and then it'll actually give us a lot of space to dig into there. It'll look a bit weird, but eventually it'll regrow um, with grass, and then it'll just sort of look natural, I guess. But um, yeah, we're going to need quite a bit more to fill into here. But I think we're going to leave it there for today. So this is going to be probably a job continued um in the next video and i'll probably do a bit of work off camera as well just to get ahead a little bit but um yeah i think we're gonna leave it there for today so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time